Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I have a Monarch Butterfly Peg Doll tutorial to share with you. And this is not one of my better peg dolls, but I'm going to show you the process anyway. I'm sure you could improve on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint my tiny little peg doll. This is a bunting baby peg doll with my watercolor paints. These are Lyra opaque watercolor paints. I'm also going to paint my finger puppet base as well. All of these supplies can be found at a childsdream.com and you can check the description box for more information down below. All right, so I wanna go ahead and put a second coat on this uh, just to make it nice and dark and black and shiny. And next I'm going to work on my pattern. I'm using this paper butterfly that we had from a different project, but I think that you could freehand a butterfly pretty easily. All right, so I'm going to set that aside and work on the peg doll a little bit more. Now that it's mostly dry, I wanna go ahead and use this tool here, which is a wire cutter tool, in order to make two holes in the top of the peg doll. So this is definitely not something for young children to do. Aside from it being a little bit difficult, I think it's a little bit aggressive as well. So do this without little children present. Now the other thing is that you might use a drill bit instead to do this. I found this to be a little bit difficult, but the peg doll material is pretty soft, so it worked pretty well. All right, so I'm going to use these little pipe cleaners. They are made out of cotton, so I thought that it would take the color pretty well. You could certainly find these at craft stores and you can find them in different colors, but I thought I would use my art supplies in order to color this and instead, you can see my fingers, it got all over my fingers, so it wasn't the easiest to paint these, in part because I did not wait for them to dry and in part, I think it would have been a lot easier just to use a Sharpie. All right, so they both fit into those holes and I just use my wire cutters to trim them down a little bit. And next I'm going to dip into my little wooden bead box in order to grab these two tiny little wooden beads so I can stick them at the end of those antenna. So I'm gonna put it on the pipe cleaner and use my black Sharpie marker in order to color them black and that seemed to be the easiest way to go. And next I'm going to glue them into those little holes that I created and I was not sure if this was going to stay in place. Now it does stay in place, but I don't think that it's going to be a good toy for a young child or somebody who's gonna play a little bit more rough with the peg dolls. My daughter is seven and I am anticipating that these are going to last, but if they don't, at least she's old enough and I'm not concerned about her putting anything into her mouth or choking on it. So this is definitely not for young kids. So I also added some glue to the end of each of those antenna and then I'm going to just just slip that little ball onto the end and it works pretty well. Those also are prone to falling off, so do be careful. All right, next we're going to work on the hair. I am using Lamb's Pride Worsted Weight Black Yarn and I just wound it around my fingers and trimmed it down. And next I'm going to add my hot glue to the head and try to glue down this hair. It was actually pretty challenging to do. I'm not thrilled about how it looks in the end. I think maybe foregoing the hair and just painting the head black might have been a better option. It looks okay in the end, just not that great. All right, so I am going to keep adding the hair down. I wanna make sure that no glue spots show since there isn't going to be any little cap or bonnet on this little peg doll. And it took a little while to get the hair the way I wanted it to look. And then the last thing we wanna do is just gather it up and trim it down. And I just have it trimmed down to about the length of the peg doll. Next, we're going to add our little butterfly wings, but I want to do something special to them first, and that is to embroider them. And I thought that doing a blanket stitch around the edge might be a good way to get the extra black around the edge the way a monarch butterfly's wings look. I need a little bit more of that black embroidery thread, so I just went into my supplies, pulled out some, and then separated the strands so I have basically three strands on my needle. So I did the blanket stitch all the way around and now I'm doing some black veins. I'm sorry you can't see that very well. It took a long time to do this and honestly, it doesn't really look that great. So I would say skip this part as well and just leave the little wings the way they are because in the end, it looks more like a spider than like veins on a butterfly. So, uh, so much for the idea. I did give it a try. My daughter does like it, but you can tell that she doesn't love it. 
All right, so I spent a little more time getting that right, and next we wanna glue it to the back of the peg doll. So again, I'm adding some hot glue and just holding that in place for a few seconds until it's set. And that's it. That is the peg doll. That is the design on the back of her wings. However, she does not stand up on her own. The wings prevent her from doing so. So if you hung her or just had her on a little ledge or something, I think it would work okay. All right, so that was the peg doll. And on the left, you can see the finger puppet. I went ahead and I just left those wings without any detail and I gave her a little bonnet. She went about in like five minutes. She was super fast versus the small peg doll, which took a good 25 minutes. So, uh, and I think that the finger puppet looks better in the end versus the tiny little bunting baby peg doll. So take your pick. You've got two ways to make this monarch butterfly peg doll. And I'm sure that you could get creative and make one that's even better. All right, so if you wanna check out some of the other peg doll and finger puppet tutorials that I have on my channel, you can tap on the screen right now. I have left both playlists. And if you wanna see what we're up to on a daily basis, don't forget that you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.